Breaking news, Bitcoin has just had a monthly stochastic RSI cross down hot off the press. This could have major implications of what Bitcoin is going to do for this whole month, especially leading in to the halving. Take a look, red line and blue line just crossed down. What you can see is Bitcoin hasn't done that literally since the 2021 top when we had a cross down here. The following month after the cross was a big red candle. Why is that important? Well, if you look at the past time that we had this cross down, we followed that up with a big red candle. Case in point, 2017 cross down next month, big red candle. How about this? Early 2017, August, another cross down, followed that up with another big red candle. How about this cross right here? We followed that up the following month with a big red candle. And even before then, we had this month right here with a cross down, followed it up the next month with a big red candle. Every single time that Bitcoin has had this cross, just like it just did, it followed the next month up with a big red candle. Is Bitcoin going to do the unthinkable and somehow avoid a big red candle for this month? Or is Bitcoin on the verge of making a big red candle in the month of April? We're going to dig into the facts and we are going to decode all these clues that are right in front of our eyes. We're even gonna go all the way back to 2013 when we were up at that 100 level and we had the cross down and we followed that up with also a big red candle. Make no mistake, Bitcoin's momentum was up near 100 on the stochastic RSI for an extended period of time, something that hasn't happened since the 21 top. So what are we looking at? What are the facts saying? You better be sitting down and you better be buckled up. Welcome, I'm Steve. Here we deliver honest, sponsorship-free TA with genuine value. Subscribe for a no BS approach that actually helps you. Subscribe. Now let's get into it. Bitcoin US dollar index, we are on the monthly chart. And on the monthly chart, we have price action above and below we have the stochastic RSI, the star of the show. And on the monthly scale, you can clearly see it represents clear bear markets and clear bull markets. And there's major clues as to what is happening, especially what is about to happen next. First, let's cover the facts. And later in this video, I'm going to explain what you should be doing right now. Should you be buying? Should you be selling? I'm going to explain it once we cover the precise facts. Let's take a look and let's break down the stochastic RSI in all of its glory. This is one of my favorite charts that I'm showing you because it has predicted every single downfall of Bitcoin. Specifically, we use this chart for the bear markets and then we use it for the bull markets when Bitcoin gets into this zone up here, such like we just did. And if you look at it, you can say, okay, Bitcoin has its market cycle top. As soon as we dip below this white line, which on our stochastic RSI, it's at about the 20 level. Once you dip below the 20 level, it takes Bitcoin several hundred days to recover. Case in point, it took 579 days to recover back here in 2014. We fell through here and it took so long to recover back above here. Once we got above here, that was the start of the bull run. And then the whole thing repeated. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. Once we got back below that 20 level, it was March of 2018. And we dipped below this level, it took 400 days for the market to recover. Keep in mind, while we're down here, everybody will still think we're in a bull run. Just like they did if you followed my videos back here when Bitcoin was hanging out around 7,000, everybody's like, ah, we're psh, new all time high, 30,000 coming soon. And we were sitting here looking at this chart thinking, wait a minute, we're gonna have several hundred days to recover 
just to start the next bull run. It won't be anywhere near 30,000 for years. Years. Why? Because Bitcoin does the same repeatable patterns every single time, right? So at the bottom of the market, we stay down here below the 20 level for hundreds and hundreds of days. As soon as we get back above here, it represents the start of the bull run. Case in point, back here, 600 days to recover, got above here, start of the bull run. Fast forward, next cycle, 400 days to recover, got above here, literally the start of the bull run. Fast forward our most recent cycle, got below here, took 424 days to recover. As soon as we got above here, started the bull run. So if you follow our channel, we were calling for people to buy at 15,000, 16,000, 17,000, and we covered this exact chart when we had this cross, and we said, well, now it's pretty much undeniable the bull run has started. That was back in February of 2023. And then we rallied all the way into this top zone. This top zone is when the market is hot. You've got to look all the way dating back until 2011 when we had this market cycle top and we had the stochastic RSI get into this zone even though it was completely new. It didn't have a whole bunch of data to illustrate any sort of movement and we still got up there. And our next market cycle top is when we really had some trouble. Take a look. We rallied inside of this zone for our first top and we had this cross down. Now take a look at what cross we're talking about at the moment, right? Where literally the orange line is now on top and both the slow and the fast line are pointing down. What we don't want to do is illustrate any sort of crosses like this where both lines are moving up. We want both lines moving down and from that zone. Bitcoin was at that 100 level for 91 days, three months. We were at that 100 level, something that we did the exact same move in 2021 and other moves we hadn't done that. This was the first time in history that we had done that and this marked the second time in history. But if we study the times that we got into this top zone, there are major clues. Case in point, right here, 2013, we had our first real cross down, both lines pointing down. And what you notice at these crosses is when you have this cross, it happened exactly on this candle. And we moved into this next monthly candle and we had our cross already showing. That next monthly candle was very bearish. We had the cross. And then you fast forward to the next time and you look at this cross, the next candle, a big red candle. Now, can we compare this one? No, the orange line was pointing up. We want to look at when both lines are pointing down. Then we're actually comparing data that's the same as the other pairs of data. So if you look at it right here, we had a cross precisely on this candle. And that following candle was a big red candle. If you look at this one, we had a cross precisely on this candle. And that following candle was a big red candle candle. Every single time we've had this exact cross, that following candle was a big red candle. It happened here. We had a cross here, the next candle, a big red candle. So every time in history, including the 2021 top, when we moved sideways for just about the same amount of time, and we finally had that cross down on this candle, the next candle was a big red candle. This is something that we were looking for in the charts and we've just had our monthly close and our monthly close illustrates that Bitcoin is losing momentum. Since we started this bull run and got above this 20 level, the only thing that Bitcoin has done is continue to be incredibly bullish outside of this short term cross down holding market structure here, right? You can see that once we had that cross, we lost a little bit of our momentum here. We dwindled out, but it was right at the start of that next phase. Uh, and then we, we topped out for three months at the 100 level. And we're just now, for literally the first time in a long time, and for the first time since 2021, where we topped out at 100, we're seeing that first glimpse 
of a slight cross down. But what we can say with certainty is that based on all of the data we have at our fingertips in front of us right here, every single time so far in all of the data that we have for 13 years, every time that we've had a similar cross on a monthly chart, that following month was a red candle which could be further evidence that Bitcoin, according to our previous video, has just printed our seventh green candle, something that we have only done two other times, both of which were before a halving. This time was also before a halving. There's only two times that we printed six green candles, in 2012 and in 2021. Both of those were after the halving. In other words, we just printed our seventh green month, We've never had eight. In Bitcoin's entire history, we've never had an eighth green candle in a row. And it's telling us that, hey, maybe it's not in the cards. According to this chart, it's not likely we will have an eighth. It's likely, it's more likely that we will have a red candle than a green candle. Tilt your phone to the side and subscribe. As I mentioned earlier, we're going to cover the facts first, which we've done. Now we're going to get to the juicy part. What should you be doing right now? Given the fact that Bitcoin could very well have a red month in the month of April, what should you be doing? So first and foremost, your question is, hey, should I, should I sell and just buy back when it goes lower? The answer is absolutely not. And here's why. What's going to happen is if you sell and you're gonna take profits when we go lower, there's no defined strategy. Unless you have an indicator that works really well, that's been working well for, for years, it's a bona fide strategy that's proven to work, okay, then you can do it. Unless you have clear decision-making patterns in your trading, in your strategy, it's written down, you have a trading journal, okay. But it's too big of a risk. For the high majority of people, it's far too big of a risk. And look, we're in the midst of a bull run. You don't want to be selling anything in the midst of a bull run and trying to guess when to get back into the market. That is not the way to approach. In fact, you should be trading significantly less than what you're doing now. Look at how much you're trading and how much you would have if you just bought and held. I guarantee the bought and held part is substantially more unless you're using indicators with a bona fide strategy to dominate. So that's what you should be doing right now is watching this chart like a hawk. Watch as we continue this movement. Watch the, the construction of this monthly candle that we're in and base it all on what's happening on the weekly time frame when we start having more clues and signs on the weekly time frame. And learning. That's what you should be doing right now is really learning and growing your skill set so that you can make more money on the next market cycle and the rest of this cycle. That's what you should be focused on. Hit that subscribe button. I'll see you right back here in the next video. Do you want less stress and more success in crypto? Click this video right now.